Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here for part number 19 of Let's Play Destroy All Humans 2 on the PS4 to 100%. Last time, we finished up the first story mission here in Takashima. This time, we're going to start out with doing some gene blends. We're going to finish this one first. Now we got cops and army, so let's go ahead and do both of those. And we now have a new one available, which requires lots of ninjas. Uh, I'm not going to focus on that one right now. We'll do it a little bit later on when I feel more up to doing that, like probably later in this video or something when we have to get in the saucer. So we're going to start out with a fairly easy side mission. This first one's pretty easy, but some of the other ones get to be a little overly complicated. Okay, is he Yakuza? He kind of looks Yakuza. I also reset the game, and hopefully that'll fix anything that was going wrong with that glitchy body snatching stuff. And let's talk to this guy. Hey. Let's introduce. Hello, business son. I note by your attire, you have achieved prosperity. You correct. I just promoted this week. I even get a new car. So shiny. Such a symbol of prosperity. Prosperity, huh? So it'd be pretty bad luck if anything happened to it. Is a status symbol. I must impress boss with the prosperity so he promote me further, or I fall into dishonor. So, that car's like a, a symbol of your status, huh? Yes, it's being very precious. How else am I knowing I am better than the blue collar workers? I don't know, how about uh, <laughs> job satisfaction? <laughs> you make me laugh! Don't touch my car! You're afraid that car defines your whole life and future, aren't you? I not need a psychoanalysis from you! Stop trying to read mind! Go away! Okay, so this guy has a brand new car. And he does not want anything to happen to it. Well, I guess we're gonna find that out officially I'm right so now. I'm so afraid for new car song. He all alone in the street. Terrible disgrace to family if anything happened to new car on the first day. <laughs> all right, so we have to follow him and make sure he doesn't get too paranoid by us following him. Ah, uh, this is a very easy side mission compared to some of the later ones. Very simple. I think he was just talking about his car there in that really low-pitched voice, maybe. I assume that's what it was. I don't know. Uh, let's see where the new car is, though. It's going to be... I should never have designed that car. Oh, crap. That was really close to being bad. I walked a little too close. I thought he was going to keep going. Okay, now we're fine. That could have been very embarrassing right there, saying this is actually a really easy side mission and then screwing up like that. All right, where is your car? Noka, Nukasan. Carson, Carson, uh, Carseno. I don't know what I'm saying with that. Let's see where that car is, though. Just hurry up and show me the car so I can finish the mission and get on with something more meaningful. Did he just say, thank you, sir, may I have another? It's like the pledging scene in Animal House. That's what that sounds like this car, I believe. Is this the car? Oh, I'm about to run out, so yep. Alright, so let's move it away from him so nothing happens to it. And we're just gonna transmog it. That's the safest way to get rid of it without it, like, exploding on him or something. And done. Very easy. Toymoto Daily Staff Report. Senior Employees Something Number Lost Toymoto Vehicle. One year of probation. Sucks to be you. Green Sucks devil. to be you. Little green foreign devil. Okay, so what's our next side mission, or story mission? Is this one where we have to go deal with the white ninjas for the first time, maybe? I guess we'll find out here in a second, but let's go to it. Alright, who are we talking to? Is this one to Pox, maybe? This one might actually be talking to Pox for once instead of Natalia. No one's attacking us yet, that's a good thing. Hello, Pox. What's up, buddy? Hey, holla, 
Poxy. Long time no see. Where you been? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Listen, Crypto, I haven't time for your jive talking. We've business to attend to. Uh, let's annoy Pox. Bark all you want, Poxy. You don't have a mothership. Hell, you don't <laughs> even have a hand to slap me with. Don't cross me, Crypto. I'm still your superior officer. And I have friends... He's not gonna cross place. you, Pox. He just wants to annoy you. Uh, mock his incorporability. Big talk from a guy who doesn't even have a real mouth. Oh. Come to think of it, you're at my mercy. I could do anything I want, and you literally can't lift a phalangepod to stop me. I don't need phalangepods to stop you. I'm in the computer, Crypto. I control everything. The steering. The life support! Everything! <laughs> I could kill you with a thought! It's a stalemate! <laughs> well played, Pox. That maniacal laugh, though. <laughs> All right, okay, let's see what we what gotta do today. Of business? Risky? Shady? Does it involve explosives? Well, not yet. I need you to investigate something of the highest importance. I'm picking up an unlicensed radio transmission coming from somewhere on the island. I want you to listen to the broadcast and find out the location of their base. Whose base? The White Ninja Cults who are broadcasting the message. I believe they're in possession of pieces of our poor mothership, and they're planning to blow them up. Ninjas again? Hello, it's 1969. What are ninjas doing in 1969? Go with it. Besides, who doesn't love ninjas? Just go with it, Crypto. Okay, let's do this thing. How do I start? I have marked a radio on your navigation map. Get a disguise, find the radio, and flip through the stations until you hear the White Ninja broadcast. Then listen for a clue as to the whereabouts of the White Ninja base. Okay, I know exactly where the base is. I mean, hell, we went there last video, I believe it was. Yeah, last video we, we went there. But I a we actually an have to go through this first set of steps to be able to access it. So let's I've do that. I've marked its location on your map. Find it and let's uh, go ahead and free love this person, and this will allow us to listen in. All right, uh, which station would it be? Uh, game? 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 Could I not hijack someone that was close to the radio? There it goes. 2032, I believe, is the number. Let's hope I'm right. Yes, it is. Listening to White Ninja Pirate Radio. We have calculated the exact moment we need to launch ourselves and alien artifacts at Furon ship traveling in tail of Bill Haley's comet. All white ninja report to base for final no, no, preparations. I, I it's all happening! Okay, so two questions uh -huh. related to that. Another radio uh, to the one, east. did Haley's on Comet map. come in the 60s? The I thought it came in the 80s was the last time it came, and then it doesn't come again until like the 2050s or something. Secondly, how do you plan to get to the Comet? Like, did you build your own rocket ship or something? I don't know. Also, how do you know that there's a Furon ship in the back of the Comet? Not saying that you're wrong there, because you may very well be right. Okay, this is a Black Ninja base, so we're going to have to be kind of careful here. Uh, we're going to want to free love a Black Ninja. Which is a really nice thing that we have that ability now. And we're going to listen to the radio again. The radio is kind of funny in this section, just some of the stuff they say. You are listening to White Ninja Pirate Radio, and I will now inform you of an important message we are sending to our Furon Lords. That message is us! We will be launching ourselves at Bill Haley's Comet! All you White Ninja who thought that paragraph in White Ninja Contract was just a little joke, HA! Joke's on you! Make your way to base immediately, or you will be in breach of contract, and our lawyers will eat you for breakfast! Have a nice day! <laughs> That's great! That's great! Alright! I 
spy with my little eye the location of one other radio Okay, the military will shoot us on sight, so... It's actually really funny, though. It's like, all you white ninja who thought Telegraph in White Ninja Contract was fake or joke, joke on you now. Let's do it one last time. I mean, we already know where the base is. We've been there before. To white Ninja Pilot Radio. And just in case all you white ninja have forgotten where you live, White Ninja Compound is down behind Zen Temple. You cannot miss it. And if you think that's clumsy exposition, you ain't just whistling Dixie, pal. Now, on with countdown! I have no idea what that's a reference to. But we did it. So we know exactly where we need to go. It tells us Zen Temple, but we've already actually been to the landing zone there. So let's make our way over there. Lots of collectibles around here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do the uh, Takashima Collectathon still uh, looking at a different video guide myself just to do it on. Because we will not yet have the collectible detector to find everything here. You need, you don't get the collectible detector until you have uh, completed all of the Arcboodle Cult missions, but you can't start the last Arcboodle Cult mission until you've found all the alien artifacts. Or the first 30 alien artifacts, not all 50 of them. So that's a bit on the annoying side, but oh well. So we have a little bit of a ninja duel here, but more importantly, let's go talk to their leader. And I believe it's going to be trivia time here. Here I am, a real live alien. Now bow down before me, ninja. Why heck should I? Who are you? I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. Yeah, today's your lucky day, Sparky. True, you look like Furon, but how can I be sure? Well, for one thing, I could blast you monkeys back to the Muromachi period. Wanna see? Threats meaningless. You could be costumed toddler with nuclear warheads for what I know. <laughs> Try me. I ain't no toddler, and this ain't no costume. Perhaps. But two Furon could answer all these questions correctly. If you fail, so sorry, you must die. Then, again, if you Furon, you can clone yourself and come right back. And everybody happy. What's your question? Okay, Sparky, we'll do it your way. Hit me. Who was spiritual leader of hippies in the Beijing? spiritual leader of hippies. That would be Guru Coyote Bongwater. Crouching Tiger Lily. That's actually kind of funny. Ah, uh, Guru Coyote Bongwater. I bong know water. this one. It was that wacko, Coyote Bongwater. Lucky guess. You wish. Give me my spaceship fragments, pajama boy. Not so fast. I have more questions. Hey, What's next? I'm on a roll. You're not Bring really on, on a roll. Next. You've answered one question. Attend. Which are following not in Bay City? Ah, uh, well, I don't know what Stonewall Bar is, but we know that The Rock and Golden Gate Park are there, so it's Stonewall, Stonewall Bar. Bar? Ain't that on Christopher Street in the village? His description's funny. Not that I'd have any reason to know that. <clears throat> Indeed it is, and therefore not in Bay City. Impressive. What's next? And the hits keep coming. What's next, Sparky? Secret KGB base in Bay City. We're hidden. It is on the rock. That's I pretty easy. I know this one. The KGB had their base on that prison island, the rock. They did, indeed. That answer, correct. All right, I played your little game. Now hand over the prize. I gotta see a chick <laughs> about a chubby. Silence! I'm still not completely convinced of your furonity. All right, what's I next? Bring it, PJ. Where Agent Orenchoff hiding out in Albion? The Savoy Hotel, the drawing room, an abandoned tunnel network. Duh, in the abandoned tunnel network. How do you know all this stuff anyway? Correct. <laughs> and none of your business. Uh-huh. Pretty convenient, ain't it? All right, come one more on, question, I believe. On. I ain't got all day. Then riddle me this. What 
happen to hipsters who came to happening? Ah, uh, crap. I don't know this one. I think it's all of the above. You kidding me? They did it all, baby. They made Woodstock look like a tea party. Correct. Oh, so I heard. One more to go. All right, I can't remember how many okay. you actually have Last to get question. right. I think you maybe have to get four what right to pass. Ponson be really in charge oh, I know that one. The Majestic Seven, or the Magnificent Seven, Majestic Command 16th Sector. Oh, baby. Majestic 16 for the win. <gasps> That's correct. How did I do? So, how'd I do, huh? Huh? What'd I tell you, right? Furon City, baby! Results conclusive! And you... Then it is true! You are an alien! We worship you, O oh Lord from beyond! Alien! Alien! Now that's more like it! Oh. As a token of our faith, O oh Lord, we offer unto you our most ancient and holy artifacts handed down from an age beyond the memory. Artifacts! Artifacts! I was kinda hoping for geisha girls. Black ninja! Apostates and unbelievers! We will fight to death in your name, O oh Lord. But first, we must compose our death haikus. Kill them all and seize their precious artifacts! Hey, nobody screws with my cult but me! Okay, so we have to protect the white ninja leader, so this... That actually means there's technically four of these missions I to make we need in this to game, in this area. A thousand of their number in order to progress, oh lord. A okay. thousand? Maybe a thousand was a little high. Let's shoot for something more realistic. Yes, thank you. Let's go for 15. Okay, that's pretty simple. So, yeah, now that's not actually a plot hole or anything, because remember, the reason the Furons are here is because of, of the pure Furon DNA, because they visited here thousands and thousands of years left. earlier, so that's not actually a plot hole or anything, that's actually accurate to this game's lore. So this is one of the easier escort missions, though, because you just have to kill 15 ninjas to complete it, you don't have to do anything else, which is nice, and I think his kills may count. So yeah, pretty simple, just killing them. And yeah, some of those questions might be a little bit harder if you're maybe newer to the game, so you may want to be looking at a guide while doing that uh, mission just to make sure you don't mess up. Because failing missions is never fun, because it means restart the whole freaking mission. That's always about as fun as you expect. Heck, we failed like one or two missions, so... No, we only failed one mission so far. It was the, uh, the really hard escort mission. And done. Ah, uh, you guys, there we go. We give you thanks, O Lord, for this victory. Piece of cake. Now, now about those geisha girls. Yippee. And now, in honor of this mythic triumph, a victory haiku. Steel <laughs> glints in sunlight, limbs go flying, bathed in blood, Tarantino-esque. Catchy. Don't suppose you got a haiku describing any super-secret KGB bases hidden around here? <gasps> we do! <laughs> secret hidden base put there by the KGB. Where the hell do you go? Our spiritual leader, Dr. Go, might be able to guide you to enlightenment and secret base. But I'm afraid Dr. Go has been kidnapped. By... Why? KGB! Natch. Okay, time to find the good doctor. All right, so we now have access to a new weapon, and this is a this was a good weapon in pretty much all the other Destroy All Humans games. 
But in this particular game, it's kinda useless overall. It gets really overshadowed by the Disintegrator and the Zapomatic, as well as a weapon we haven't yet earned, so... I don't particularly like it in this game, but it's the Ion Detonator. The Ion Detonator is basically a grenade launcher. Uh, for those of you who have played through these games before, it's basically a grenade launcher. It's quite powerful, but it has a lot of potential to harm both Crypto and the other people around him that he may not want to hurt. Plus, it's just not as effective as, like, the Disintegrator is, so... But with that, we now have six of the weapons unlocked, and we're going to be getting the seventh one in, I believe, one or two more missions. It actually might be next mission. So that's pretty awesome. We're actually about to get that weapon, and that weapon is extremely good. We also have an Arboodle Cult mission here. Uh, but we're running a little bit short on time right now. We're at 20 minutes, so... I just kind of want to finish off the video, not by doing the Arboodle Cult, but I believe this is one of the shorter Don't cult stand. missions in the game Don't anyway. So. Actually, this is a really short cult mission now that I think about it. Yeah, this is like the shortest one in the entire game, so... Uh, we may actually do that at the end of this video. At first, we need to abduct a couple of ninjas. And since there's no longer any black... Oh, okay. Furon's a go-go. Concept art. Okay, since there are no black ninjas around here, we're not going to bother with that. And we're just going to go ahead and do this cult mission. Uh, this is one of the easiest ones in the game. This one is basically just doing a bunch of dialogue. That's actually all you have to do, so pretty simple. Let's get to it. Uh, ask about you the black guys ninjas. in the black pajama cats. W -w what's the beef? In beginning, great ninja sensei wear gray. His students also wear gray. Yeah, yeah, I seen the movie. Master dies. His two star pupils split. One turns to good, the other evil. Eventually, they oppose each other like black opposes white. Am I right or am I right? Wrong. Supplier stops selling gray fabric. You only have to left. <laughs> we wanted to be black, but bastards put their order in first. White ninjas, prepare yourselves for the second coming of the Lord God Almighty. And while you're at it, give a little love to our poodle. <laughs> All right, so uh, we found out that's the reason that there are two ninja clans because they I ran out of come to guide you That's actually to funny. the ever-loving light of the sacred crotch. Sensei, tell us what to do next. Show a sign. Shall we sacrifice captive temptress demon? Uh, this one, if I remember correctly, we just have to answer all the different Look, dialogue. you don't need signs. Just, uh, uh just do as your Lord Arkvoodle bids. What does it yen? What? 1100. 1150. <laughs> Who said that? 1200. Stop. Just stop it. I'm warning you. 1475! This way! 1500! 2000! I've got 2000! Do I have 2100? I said knock it off! Which one of you little twerps started this? Uh huh. Well, just remember he who mocks Arkvoodle gets a zap in the ass from yours truly. Then show us how to please him. Give us a sign. Uh, let's just tell him to follow Arkvoodle. You should serve your god! Uh, be to Arkvoodle as, uh, as, as an iron condom! That makes no what? sense. An iron condom! An impenetrable prophylactic of Arkvoodle love! Hey! We condoms for Arkvoodle! We cast off flimsy rubbers and find armored ones! Don't be so damn literal. Do I, <laughs> the son of Arkvoodle, wear an armored condom? Oh, sort of. He talking about massive codpiece. No, wait. Big one it protection. Piece. No, I'm not. Look, it's a metaphor. You don't need to wear codpieces. You guys can't fill this cup anyway. Then give a sign, Sensei. <laughs> I, I think that's a tiny Let dick joke. Let it keep you... for his pleasure. Oh boy. 
Hey, how about you jokers quit tittering like a bunch of 12-year-olds and act normal, like, like regular cultists? Hey, we ninja in 1969, this normal. How you think we supposed to act? I don't know, sing, drink Kool-Aid, harass people at the airport, something. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. When you think of something plausible, give us a call. Ah, uh, so we don't need to abuse them, we're just going to give up in disgust. You know what? You losers make me sick. You're a freaking joke. Nobody needs followers this stupid, you hear me? I wash my hands of the whole stinking deal. This mean no cut pieces? Look, you only have to do one thing to please me. Worship Arkvoodle. That's it. Take it or leave it. We take it! Now go forth and multiply. I mean serve, which in this case is the same thing. All right, guys. Very, very easy side mission done. That's one of the easy. That's probably the easiest one in the entire game. As you saw there, you just go through all the dialogue. So you can skip through that and get through it in less than a minute if you really don't want to listen to all the dialogue. But there's some funny dialogue. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for this video. Next time, we will most likely take on the next story mission here. See you guys then.